Hello, hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to Wandersong. We are entering a new chapter here, and our beloved bard is on their own. Miriam is no longer around. Unfortunate. Ah, let's get into it. Okay, this is it. Oh, that was easy. Uh, we went through this uh, conversation already. This isn't exactly it. Need to get to the top of the mountain. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. We did this conversation at the end of the last episode. Okay, let's go. Actually, I guess this isn't the next act. It's just... Or is it the next act? I think it is, actually. But the, what the heck was that? Horrifying, thank you. Huh. Why is that on its side? Jumping on the bed. That is also on its side. What is going on here? Why is everything knocked over? Where is everybody? Oh, you. What brings you here, pilgrim? This place is not safe. Please come inside with me. Oh, hey! I have not been spotting the Easter eggs that Mask here is pointing us to. Hey now, wanderer. You gonna climb this mountain? I like chilling with these monks. But I might try climbing, too. Maybe I'll see you up there. Got anything else to say? Seems things just get worse and worse these days. Are you scared about the world ending? Yeah? To tell the truth, I am too. It's hard not to be scared. Especially for the things you can't control. Well, if you can't control it, there's no point to be scared, is there? But the scary thing is... What if you can control it, and you aren't? We are all disciples of Aya. We believe in her, and in her plan. We have always known the end was coming. We would be fools to not accept it, when it is so plainly before us. In the scheme of the universe, we are like insects. No, we are smaller than insects. We are like tiny specks of dust on the feet of insects. No, in fact, we are like subatomic particles in the dust on tiny insects' feet. Well, you get the point. There have been countless universes before ours, and there will be countless after. It is sad that we are here to witness the end, but it also marks a new beginning for another universe. This is Aya's way. It is her design. Who are we to intervene with that? A visitor! How unexpected! Are you a student of Aya as well? Have you come to this high place to witness the end? We have plenty of space. And accommodations and rations. This temple was meant to support many more people. But they have all evacuated. We would be happy to have you here. It will be a special thing to be a part of. I wonder what it will sound like. I wonder what we will see when she sings. I do not think we will suffer. And I wonder what the next universe will be like, even though we are not worthy to be part of it. I hope we will see a tiny glimpse of it. They say each universe is born perfect. We are at its end when discord has taken over, but I would like to see a perfect one. It would be so fulfilling to see her wondrous vision to hear her wondrous song. Well, 
welcome, Pilgrim. I'm sure you've noticed how quiet it is here. The heart of the mountain has changed. A dark beast stalks its slopes. Yeah, I saw it. The people who once lived here have evacuated. Only we monks remain now. Your name is Kenneth. <laughs> At first, the monsters were many. They came down from the mountain peak. Destructive, hungry things. We tried to hide everyone here in the temple. But after the monsters spread away from the mountain, the beast came next. Its presence is terrifying, Pilgrim. It is empty, utterly devoid of life or personality. A dark harbinger of the end. Nobody is safe here anymore. You are welcome to stay in the temple with us, but you should consider leaving this place entirely. Um, actually, I came to climb the mountain. I have to visit the overseer here. Pilgrim, you must reconsider. Nobody has communed with the overseer in our lifetimes. They have long since abandoned us. They're just sick. All the overseers are getting messed up. That's why this stuff is happening. But I'm gonna fix it. I'm learning the Earth Song. You seem so sure. I do not know what this Earth Song is, but I will not stop you from carrying out your will. If this truly is the end, it may not matter. It may not much matter what you do anyway. Is anywhere safe anymore? We are cut off from the rest of the world here. I've definitely seen monsters, but I don't know if they're everywhere. I fear the end is coming soon, and there is no escaping it. Use this time wisely, Pilgrim. Sure thing, Kenneth. Oh, there's another person here. We devoted our lives to the teachings of Ea. She is a creature of light, of love, but even her love cannot extend forever. Our world is old and weary. Our overseers have abandoned us. We are beyond redemption. It is our time to go. So we are witness to Aya's darkest hour. All things die. They would not be so beautiful if they did not. This is something Aya understands. A world that never died would be meaningless. We should be proud to be alive for the end. We are what makes this universe a beautiful one. We have been preparing for this for a long time, though I did not foresee it would be in my lifetime. I am grateful. Every moment we have is a gift from Aya. I do not worry for the time taken from us. Instead, I am grateful for all the time we were given. You ought to be grateful too, young one. Alright. So, up the mountain we go. really is quiet. Like, unnervingly so. Okay, here's the music. over there. Um. Can I save you? Don't worry, buddy. I'll save you. Go. 
got some more music going, but, um... Oh! Okay. Okay. No, come back here! Like, how'd they just throw me? Oh no, I can- I can get it from here. Alright, cool. Hang on, buddy. Almost worked. I need you to yeet me up into the other one's range. Sing as fast as you can. Now, Wanderer, you did good finding me here. I was waiting for you, to usher you into the next level of dance. That's right. It's time to discover a new move. Oh, hell yeah. You already know this one, Wanderer. I'm just gonna help you find it. <laughs> oh my god! She got a new dance! Let's go! Beautiful dance, Wanderer. Carry it with you on your journey. Show the world the dance that lives inside you. 
Hell yeah, buddy. I can explain how to dance if you want. Yeah, we're good. All right. That knowledge already lives inside you too. Oh, is that it? Is that all that's over here? Okay, so that means there's somewhere else that I need to get to. Almost had it. Oh, come on, I know you can get over this. I can't believe it's you! Do you live in this cave now? Can I come through? Hmm? Oh. I sing you a song. Please let me through. are saying they like me. Yay, I can come through. Thank you. You following me? Oh, thank you. The heck are these? Sorry, dude. Thank you. You don't want to 
I step on the bugs? Wait, oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, what- wait, what's the dance button again? Oh god. Um, I just remembered... Oh god, what's the dance button? No, I'm not trying to step on them! <laughs> my friend who recommended this game to me talks all the time about how you can have a dance party with the bugs. No squishy. I do not seem to be capable of uh, actually getting the bugs to dance with me. Maybe I'm missing something. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that is so cute. The bard just refuses to step on the bugs. I love them. There's bugs everywhere. Okay, that's actually a little... I'm not a huge bug person. I'm not a huge fan of bugs. I can appreciate them objectively, but like... Ugh. Slight heebie-jeebies, I shall not lie. Okay, I was wondering what would happen if you accidentally landed on them. aren't helping. an uh, interesting way to do a maze, at least. The bugs acknowledge that we do not step on them, and they like me, so are they going to remove this obstacle for me? We're commanding the bugs! Thank you. Ah, 
<laughs> there we go. These bugs are strong. Hmm. I don't know if this is the right move. I think I did something wrong there. Oh, well, maybe not actually. Nope, I did exactly what I was supposed to do. Uh, could you move over a little? Thank you. so I can get on top of it. Thank you. So I need to collect a lot of bugs to make a giant pile of them. Is that what I'm getting here? Come along now. we go. Thank you. Oh, these guys won't gather. Okay. Oh, they waved to me. Whoa. 
Um, Bard, buddy, why are you glitching out there? That was weird. Ooh. Yeah, don't like that. Oh no, are you okay? Oh, you're cute. What are you? What's this? What do I use this for? Whoa, I threw it. That did something. I didn't see what it did. Okay, no, I'm gonna experiment with you here. I throw this at you. That's not doing anything. Okay. Um. Oh, hi. Oh! I see. Oh, we're just petting it. Oh, it's following us. I can ride it! Oh, that's delightful. Absolutely delightful. Oh, you can pet it. Come on, buddy. Oh no, you're not looking so good, buddy. Oh, don't you worry. Here we go. Okay, where do we need to go? Keep you nice and charged up, buddy. Let's go. It's just you and me, little guy.
Hang on, buddy. Here you go. I did that badly. Let's try that again. Oh no! I'm sorry, buddy. This one's a bit weird. This entire section is just... Just the bard befriends everything. Come on, bud, keep up. Come on, buddy. Not trying to get on you. Can I get some crystals for my body? Oh. Huh. Go back the other way. Here we go. 
go. There you go, buddy. Try to get over there with the wind gust. Is that why there were two over here? Can I like supercharge you? This looks like a jump that I could theoretically make if the wind was blowing in the right direction. I don't know if it's gonna change. Oh wait, it's not knocking me around in either direction. Okay. You're not making much headway though. Um, let's go back. That's actually what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, I mean, obviously it is. But, uh, I'm not gonna get very far. Oh my god. Oh, I am so sorry, buddy. Just some some gems ASAP. Ah, you're barely making these jumps.
Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> what is space? Um. Um. No. Okay. Um. Oh shit, Audrey! Pretty good entrance, right? What do you think? Too much? Stunned silence. Got it. Looks like you're in a real pickle here. Lost on a mountain. Giant monster. Really calls for a hero, don't you think? Wow, you're really no fun this time. I guess that's fine. Let's make this fast, shall we? I'd say it's finally time to unleash my secret weapon. The potion of power, oh no. <laughs> Fitting, don't you think? This is the one you got for me, and now it's gonna save your life. Oh no, wait! Spare me the theatrics. You aren't seriously still trying to stop me from killing monsters, are you? No, that's not it! Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh no, Audrey! <laughs> Did I not sing fast enough? Okay, no, that was scripted. I think. Um, are you- <gasps> Where am I? Where's my sword? Did I lose it? Ah, right, the monster. I drank that potion and... I'll look for a way out of here. Um, it's a total cave-in. We're trapped and my sword is gone. You, you ruined everything as usual. And now, and now, there's no way out. Okay, so she has totally blue screened. I'm also not finding anything. We might really die here. I might really die here. The hero. You can't do anything? Not without my sword. Oh! What about the rainbow girl? Who? The rainbow girl. You know, the messenger of Aya. You mean Ayala? She has a name? She's not coming to help. Back in Chandesh, I told her to leave. And never come back. Why did you do that? She bothered me. She's manipulative. 
She's supposed to be my guide, but she just told me what to do, without letting me think for myself. Like she knows better. Last I checked, I'm the hero, not her. A real hero shouldn't be bossed around all the time. If you just follow what everyone says, then you never decide anything for yourself. It's demeaning. You probably wouldn't understand. Ayala didn't either. She'd just tell me what to do, where to go. But I'm not her puppet. It's my job to save the world. So I got rid of her. She bothers me too. She told me I could save the world by meeting all the overseers and singing the earth song. And that I was special and she believed in me. But it doesn't feel like it at all. The overseers are dying so fast. And no matter what I do, everything's getting worse. When I asked about you, she said, Don't worry about that little bard. The Earth Song is totally made up. And it'll never ever work. You're the real hero. She... She said that? I thought she said the same to you. I had no idea why you kept trying. Guess it makes sense now. She just lied to you. No, she told us different things. Maybe she lied to you. Or maybe to both of us. She would never lie to me. I'm the hero. She just told you what you wanted to hear. So, she told you you're not the hero? Yeah, she tested me. With your sword, I think. But I couldn't use it. Oh. You must be really special to be able to use it. I think it kind of makes me jealous. Really? I'm really scared about the world ending. I wish I could do anything to stop it. I want to make a difference, but I'm so small and unimportant. You can change things. You can make things happen. But you're using your power to kill overseers. I don't want to give up on the world. It feels wrong to end everything. I wish it was my choice. Well, that's a relief. Huh? With all of Ayala's lies, I thought for a second that well, it's ridiculous, but she made me think I might not actually be the hero. Before this all started, I felt like you do. Small, weak, normal. Being the hero isn't easy. You have to know what- Were you even listening to me? Don't you have anything to say about that? Making the world end? You're fine with that? Well, I don't know. It's the way it works. How do you know that's how it works? You said yourself that Ayala told lies. What if that was one of them? I know it. Because I'm the hero. But what if it's made up? You said you were worried you weren't the hero. You didn't let me finish. But what if you aren't? I am. I can use the sword and you can't. That's how it is. Why does using the sword make you a hero? Because that's how it works. <laughs> Look, whatever. I don't care if you think I'm the hero or not. It's totally inconsequential, okay? It doesn't change anything about our situation. We're really trapped, huh? Yeah. Alright. You really want to know the truth? I am scared. About ending the world. A little bit. But 
that's what the hero is supposed to do. I can't let my little fears control me. Even if sometimes it means pretending. I couldn't say that to Ayala. Because then she'd think I wasn't the hero. What if she changed her mind? Took back my sword? I can't just go back to being just nobody. But now that she's gone and you can really decide for yourself, you don't have to do it, do you? What if it's the wrong way to save the world? Have you thought about it? Do you still really want to? Yes. I considered all the angles, and that's the way it has to be. I don't know anymore what was real, and what was just stuff she said. But if there's a chance, even just a tiny one, that the world didn't have to end, and everything would be okay? Isn't it worth it to try? Audrey? What was that sound? So? Are you gonna check it out or what? I still want you to answer my question about ending the world. Sure, but you should really check that sound first. The rocks might collapse again. Okay, well, do, you're not gonna come with me? Ah! Uh... <gasps> My bug friends! Bugs! Bugs? Bugs, Audrey! <laughs> Bugs are here! Did they move these rocks? Yes, Audrey! Bugs move rocks! They are very good, and they can help us escape! So you're saying I have to rely on bugs to get out of here? <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm friends with the bugs. But we don't have to help you, too. What? You'd leave me here to die? You have to make a promise, Audrey. You have to promise to be nice. Okay, sure. You have to say it. Say you promise to be nice. Really? Yes! Say it! to be nice. Oh. Louder! I promise to be nice! <laughs> and you have to promise not to end the world. I can't. Yes, you can! That's a very normal, easy thing to promise. <laughs> Look, I can do it right now! I promise not to end the world. It's not that simple. The creator of our entire universe chose me to do that. I can't just promise that away. That's not how that works. Fine, but then maybe I shouldn't help you. What? Come on. I'm serious. If I help you escape and you kill the last overseers, it'll be my fault. I could save the world right now. I could leave you here. Don't do that. That won't... Ugh. I promise not to end the world. There. Okay? Yeah! Look, Audrey. I think they're telling us to follow them. Well, don't mind if I do. Bro, Audrey's got the exact same problems as the protagonist of Fate Grand Order, and let me just say, I freaking love that. 
I can't believe we're getting out of this. When I realized my sword was gone, I thought I was done for. I feel naked without it. Even if we get out of here, I don't know what I'll do without my sword. I hope it's still on top of the mountain. What do you need it for anyway? You're not killing overseers anymore. It's more than that. It's the source of my powers. Without it, I'm basically nothing. Audrey, that's not true. Your sword isn't what makes you great. Well, my sword is what lets me shoot lightning. <laughs> I would say that's pretty great. <laughs> what were you like before you knew you were the hero? Before I was the hero, nobody cared about me. Nobody? Why would they? I mean, yeah, I'm strong and smart and pretty, but lots of people are those things. That's not what makes people care about you. When I got the sword, that's when they cared. So, Ayala tested you in a dream, right? Yeah. Did she test you too? Yeah. When the end of the world is nigh, I think everyone in the world has that dream. That's how they find the hero. Everyone? Everyone. They're all told the world's ending, too. But most everyone forgets about it after. Or pushes the knowledge to the back of their mind. It's a hard thing to accept. How did you become friends with the bugs, anyway? <laughs> I was just very careful. Everyone steps on bugs without thinking. Can you imagine how that feels? What, to step on bugs? No, to be stepped on. Sounds pretty painful. Not just painful. It's sad when nobody even cares about you. So I don't step on the bugs, Audrey. And just for that, they're your friends? Yep. Caring about others goes a long way. How could you care about something so insignificant like bugs? How did you even know they would help you? Huh? I didn't know they would help me. That's not why I care about them, Audrey. I care about them because they're living things. And even if they never did anything to help me at all, they would still be worth caring about. You're so... simple. Hmm. I guess I am. Let's go. Alright. Onward. I see, I see. Need them to push that out of the way. Audrey, what are you doing? Come on. Are we just fucking leaving Audrey? <laughs> Why isn't she coming with me? guys don't gather. Um. Hmm. So I can't get through here. Well then where the heck else am I supposed to go? Huh.
I need to get the... No, I can't get those bugs. They're too far away. Um... So I'm missing something. Great big hero can't jump over a rock. Audrey! Don't step on the bugs! Oh. I wasn't even watching for them. They might be tiny and fragile, but they're special. Bugs are cool, Audrey, and they're our friends. And you promised to be nice. Okay, well, can you ask them to move? Okay, there we go. Thank you. What is, what is she expecting me to do here? here with her when I lift this one up. I 
need more bugs. I might need more bugs. Can I get more bugs? Yes. Come along. There we go. Is this an overseer castle? Yes. And I'm the Heart Fairy. Why is there a castle inside this cave? I don't know. Why is there a cave inside this castle? Oh. It's because the spirit world collapsed. So everything there got pushed into here. Seems possible. Ugh. Wait, so does that mean the Overseer is here? Audrey. No. He left. All this weird stuff started happening at once. The King of Hearts got sick. And started acting funny. And making monsters. And now we're in a cave. And he ran away. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're not supposed to do anything. The King of Hearts can't be fixed. The only thing anyone can do is end his misery. Whoa! Wait a second! Audrey! You promised! No killing overseers! That's right, I did. But then, what should we do? Do you think it's better this way? The King of Hearts a beast skulking about- Wait a second. Is the King of Hearts a big black wolf monster? Yes. Well, he is now. But he was nice before. So that monster we saw earlier, that was the King of Hearts? Are you really gonna kill him? No, we'll find another way. Right, Audrey? What are you gonna do, sing to him? Maybe. That's ridiculous. That might work. The King of Hearts really likes music. If there's any bit of him left, and you put all your heart into it. He might respond to it. It's worth a shot. Yes! See, Audrey, we have to try. And you promised. Okay, okay, fine. We'll do it your way. Maybe, maybe it can work after all. That would be nice. Oof. You give me a good feeling. Are you the hero? Oh, nope. That's Audrey. But do you really think I seem like a hero? Yes. I like you. Wow! I like you too. The King of Hearts is really good. Or at least he was. He's the most sweetest, loving, nice wolfie. He loves everybody and he would never hurt anybody. Yowza, I'm so worried about him. Why did he have to start acting so strange? Do you think he'll be okay? I don't know. But we'll do everything we can to help him. Me and Audrey have a very special agreement. We're working to together now. Excuse me. Okay. Gosh, I'm excited. I really hope you can help him and bring him back here. He's my most special friend in the whole universe. He loves to bark and play and howl and not make evil monsters. Even though that's what he does now. If you can make him normal again, I think everything is going to be okay. Okay, enough already. Do you talk this much to everything? Yes. We need to get a move on. Well, bye. Bye. Oh. Oh no, did 
did I miss my chance to talk to her? No, okay. Do you really think singing is going to do anything? Yes! It has to! I hope you're right. For both our sakes. Remember the sun and moon overseers? When overseers are dying, they lose their personality and their shape. By the end, there's nothing left that's recognizable. So even if the King of Hearts used to love music, there's really no guarantee that part of him is still alive now. Ah, no way! Music never dies, Audrey! You'll see. <laughs> hey, hang on a second. Where's your witchy friend? Oh, Miriam? You hurt her, remember? Oh. Well, you and her really messed up back then, letting creatures out of the spirit world, and she was a real jerk too. But you aren't so bad. I'm amazed you let her hang around you. Her attitude was so bad she must have been a constant downer. Hey! Don't talk about Miriam like that. She's my friend. And I'm still mad that you hurt her. I hate that you call yourself a hero. You just act like a big bully. When you have a problem, all you do is hurt people. You're no hero at all. And what did and what you did to Miriam was really terrible. She was just trying to help my friends. She was going to save the world with me. She's a good person. You didn't have to hurt her, Audrey. That was just plain evil. Sorry for hurting your friend. You're sorry? I'm doing my best to be the hero and do the right thing. Maybe I went too far. Is she okay? I don't know. She had to go home, but I think she'll be okay. I just wish she was here. The things you do with your sword aren't always good. I know you fought monsters and saved lots of people, but you also hurt us a lot. I think it's good that you lost it. You don't need it to be a hero. You'll see. We'll work together and save the King of Hearts. I hope you're right. You've already surprised me, so I guess at this point I'll believe anything. I won't be much use without my sword anyway. So, as scary as it is, my fate here rests in your hands. What have I gotten myself into? Come along. Audrey, don't leave me behind! Oh god, Audrey got stuck. Why does this look like a... Oh, it's a castle thing. I was gonna say, why does it look like like a witch's hat or something? Girl, help! The hero is glitching. Interesting that it responds to me singing, but it doesn't actually do anything. She weren't glitching, I'm sure she'd be showing me what to do right now. There is 
is absolutely nothing. Oh no, wait, there is something that way. Never mind. Oh, I'm up here now. All right, cool. Um, I hope she like teleports to me if I get far enough away from her. <laughs> Or if I change the screen? Yeah, alright, we're good. Hey! That's my sword. That stupid dog has it. Where's he taking it? Let's go after him. doing now girl help my hero keeps getting stuck hey that stupid dog what are you doing holding my sword over lava Give it back here, boy. No! Birds coming in clutch. Yes! My bird friend! That was close. Too close. This thing almost destroyed my sword. That would have been a catastrophe. He's evil. No, Audrey, don't you see? He's scared. He doesn't want you to hurt him. That's why he tried to take your sword, but he didn't hurt us. Didn't hurt us? He buried us under a rock slide. We're lucky we escaped alive. Your bird friend has the right idea. The beast hurt them too, didn't he? This isn't what you promised. You have to be nice. Let me just sing. We have to try, Audrey. I think there's still something good inside him. just a monster now. It won't listen to us. No! There has to be a way. There might be. If you let me hit it with lightning, that'll stun it, and then you'd be able to get close. Will that hurt him? Yes. Um. Fine! But only because I want to help him. Please don't do more than you have to. Hey! Could you make yourself useful and maybe cover me? I can't charge up if he's attacking me. Um, okay. Ah! I see. Put a shield up around her.
girl, I know it does not take this long to charge up your sword. here. would stop moving around so much that would be awesome and also charge up your sword faster to avoid that one for once. Come on, Audrey! Okay, I think I just sing everything at you really aggressively.
Can you let up for half a second? Oh my god. Alright, this is something I can handle. I can handle getting bonked. Like this. Does getting hit make her, uh, lose charge? Audrey! Stay close to me! getting smaller. I just noticed that. Is it getting smaller the entire time? Hey! You're the king of hearts, right? I bet nobody even tried to talk to you. But you're not really so bad, are you? wasn't bad. He didn't have to die. You just don't get it. And maybe you never will. This is just how it had to happen. And I did what I had to do to make sure it did. I told you, I can't just promise away my responsibility. Being the hero is more than that. Then being the hero is stupid. It's stupid and I hate it. It's stupid and I hate it, and you didn't have to do it. You could have chosen different. We could have healed the Overseer and fixed everything and stopped the world from ending. But you ruined it. You ruined everything. Sorry. Lil B! Oh, fuck off. No. How you doing? Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. Ever again. What? You're a liar! This is just a game to you. You don't really care about us at all. You don't care if the world ends. You don't care about anything. I thought I could be a hero. I thought I could change something. But it was all a lie, to make me feel good. I should never have listened to you. Well, B, that hurts. But it's not true. I really didn't lie to you. I swear. Actually, I came to tell you. I'm totally on your team now. Huh? Yeah. I mean, you're still definitely not the hero. But that doesn't matter. You're good. And there's still a chance to stop the end of the world. There's still one more overseer. The one we, um, skipped. The Dream King? Yeah. I told Audrey as much. That maybe she should stop. And give you time to collect the Earth Song. But she really didn't like that. One bit. Really? I think... She's really scared, Lil B. When I said she should wait for you, she acted like I was taking something from her. I think she really wants to be the hero. Basically, no matter what. She's kinda dangerous. I mean, I love you both, but... She's gotta be stopped. Then, there's no time to waste. Yes. 
We need to hurry. Back to Langtree. Right. But first, you gotta collect the King of Hearts' song. Right. Um. Oh, I'm clicking on the window. Um. Huh? How do I know what the correct order is? I guess it doesn't matter. Either that or I somehow did it perfectly on the first attempt. But more likely the former. got through that entire act in one sitting. That is where we're going to end this, and we will get into Act 7 next time. So, I'll see you all next time.